Joining me now is NBC News correspondent Zinkle Esimwa. Zinkle, thank you for joining me. And it, this is such an important topic. I'm so glad that you are covering it. So take us through your reporting and the mm -hmm. women with whom you spoke and who you interviewed. What are the key contributors to the disparities for black expectant mothers when it comes to their health? Yeah, Kristen, and thank you so much for having me. I know this is important to you personally as well. So first, if we look at the numbers, white, right, black women are three to four times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women in the United States. And that is not some predisposition, right? This is something I have known for many years. And so at the start of this year, we wanted to get a firsthand look at the experience of black mothers in the U.S. We talked to Kaniya King in St. Louis, April Valentine in California, and what we really learned was black women are scared, but they're mm. also doing the work to advocate for themselves, many of them using doulas, which I'm sure we'll talk about, right? They're not midwives. They are individuals who are meant to support you, not just during the delivery process, but really from conception to the time that child is young. And so many black women in this country are taking matters into their own hands, trying to inform themselves. However, they're still facing roadblocks. You asked me why that's happening. The CDC cites many reasons, including implicit bias, including inequalities in health care. So it's sort of a confluence of factors. But the reality is, as a result, black women in this country are dying, Kristen. You're right. And it is a crisis. It, a lot of the women and doctors who I've spoken with say one of the key issues within those broader issues that you just talked about is that black women feel like they aren't being heard. Yeah. When they raise the alarm about a health issue that they are experiencing, it speaks to what you talked about, the implicit bias. How mm -hmm. many of the women with whom you spoke talked about that? Is that part of their concern? Yeah, absolutely, Kristen. All of them did. And I think what was most striking is, you know, for this special report, we chronicled two women with very different endings, but both of them, and I'll, I'll say it's not a spoiler, one of them does not survive, but both of them, even the one who did survive says, I wasn't sure I was going to make it because doctors were not listening to me. And it seems like a uniquely American problem because when we look at other industrialized countries, the CDC found just in 2021 that the U.S. had about 32 out of 100,000 um, births resulted in mater maternal mortality. That's about 10 times higher than other comparable economies. We're talking Australia, Japan. So it doesn't make sense when you look at our health care system. But all of these women, Kristen, were telling me, I did not feel hurt. I felt scared. That's where the presence of a doula truly can be transformational because it's someone who can advocate for you, as you know, in one of your most vulnerable p positions and places, right, during the time you are in delivery. And so some of those resources can be really critical. So, Sinclay, follow up, if you will, on, on that point. You talk about some of these women working with doulas. What else are black women doing to take charge of their own birth experiences? Yeah, so doulas are definitely uh, prevalent increasingly. Of course, there are national conversations happening around whether or not they're covered by health care. As we know, insurance can be very expensive, right? Getting that health care support can be very expensive. There are a lot of nonprofits now that are providing doulas free of charge. There are also midwives who tend to be more medically trained, so they might be able to aid in a home birth. But really, so much of this is reflective not just of the health of the woman while she's pregnant, but throughout her life. And so mm. I think part of of what women are also trying to do is say, am I being supported from the time, right, I hit puberty and I have my first experience with menstruation, to say that on air, because we don't talk about that a lot, right, mm -hmm. to the time of menopause. All of that matters. And so really, I think what it is, is women are bringing supports into the room with them to say, hey, I have a feeling I might not get listened to. And this is a person who will help make sure that happens. Kristen. Well, Zinkle, this is an issue that does not get enough attention. Thank you for shining a light on it. Thank you for your great reporting, Zinkle Esamwa. We really appreciate it. You can catch more of Zinkle's reporting on the latest episode of Meet the Press Reports. Pregnant and Black is available to stream right now on Peacock and YouTube. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.